And welcome back again, 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 as always again, to One Shot. We are done with the Solstice Barons testing and we just have a couple things to do in, well actually, I think the majority of the stuff I wanted to test in Solstice are actually here in the Glen, so that might be a couple of things, but it shouldn't take too long I think. The Glen was a very short area here in Solstice. I mean, all of Solstice is kind of short, because it's all just dialogue mostly. But, let's get to it and see how much I can get through today before I hit another uh, 40 minute mark. Part of the ground is missing. Yep. Only one way to find out. It's safe. Oh my goodness me. And... Did I need to go in there? Oh yeah, I do. Uh, I mean, I don't, because I wouldn't be able to go past the robot, because I need to check on this guy. Yeah. And the bed is nothing. The bridge is broken. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, oh, I wanted to meet Mace before I know that I need the gears, but no, you can't even do that. We just have to go... You have to see this, and then you have to meet... Alula and Calamus, but hey, I already know what he's all about. I guess you have to look at him. Yeah, this seems linear enough. And I don't think we can get the gears without... Oh, oh now it works. I don't think we can get the gears without Maze's help. So that's not going to be anything either. And this is blocked, yeah? And that's blocked. Oh! Yeah, okay, maybe now. This is, this is different. Because I can just go straight to her and tell her... Get your shit together and fix the world! Maybe. Uh, hold on. H has it saved? No, it has not saved, like, at all today, I think. Oh well, that's fine. I could always redo it if I need to. What happened to you? Um... Should I just skip all of this? I don't really... need to know anything here. Yeah? Okay. Do not worry, I'm fine. I see, okay. So, we can't get her to grow more vines until we meet Alula and Calamus, probably. Unless I can go there now, I guess I can test that. Like, just go, go back and then check the bridge. No, it's not gonna work. But I might as well try it, I guess. Just give me a second. Oh shit, the bridge is broken, I already knew that. Hey. Fix the bridge. Nope. Never mind. Didn't think so. But now... If we go this way... Aha! Okay, so now this is a little bit interesting. What's gonna happen now? It's blocked by blocks. Wait a minute. I remember something about this. You shouldn't! You shouldn't remember that, because I didn't do that! Ow, my foot. Huh. Okay, so that didn't make a difference, because I specifically made a save where I didn't have her follow Calamus and Alula, so she didn't know that Alula just kicked the rock out of the way and it was fine. Oh well. No difference there. Too bad. And... There's nothing in this, like, cutscene that I really care about, so I think I can just skip past this. Yeah, the next thing is... When we get to the... The second glowing book room, I wanna just leave and see if they disappear as well. They probably won't. I'm just gonna ignore them and go in here. Oh! Oh, but the journal isn't glowing. Oh wait, do I need to... get like... oh, right, and then they appear. Yeah. And hey, there is the uh, vision of 
Cedric. I forgot that was even a thing. Okay. Book is glowing. Now, if we just leave... Yeah, they just stay in there. They don't care. Clothes. What about the ball? Yeah, no Alula to talk about them, at least. Fish. And giant block that I can't look at. Alright, so that's not much. So you can't do this without them seeing that you're doing something funky and that the raft just appears. But yeah, now we can just skip past that. It, it's a clover, it's a clover, it's a clover, it's a clover, it's a clover. We made it! And now we can just ignore them, I believe. And just go straight to Cedric. Okay, has it saved? Because I might want to just create another backup. Still hasn't saved. Huh. I mean, I guess it's fine. We need to get the uh, the gears and shit as well. Maybe. Or do we talk about that now? I guess I'll pay attention. Because he might mention Rue, and we don't know Rue. Wait, okay, so now it's about the battery and stuff. Did it- it saved now. Yeah, okay, it just saved. Let me save this as a backup, because I, I kind of need this. So now the question is, if I just give the battery to him, what happens when I then talk to the people down by the generator? Can I still just take that battery? Or could I take two batteries? Or could I go and take their battery, but then give them the Baron's battery instead? I don't know. That, yeah, this actually might take a while to test. I might have to test this like three times. So, I guess we'll test this first off just by doing that. Found a battery! We found this one in the Barrens. It wasn't working at first, but fucking I managed to fix it. It's good that you thought to bring it with you then. We still need a few gears. Okay, I'm gonna stick with this for now. And just see what Alula and Calamus say. Because... Now we don't need a battery anymore. Do you know where I could find a battery? There's some robots at the research station. But we already have the battery, so we don't need it. Oh god, no. I'm trying to skip past it, but I'm ending up just talking to her more. Maybe it would have been better to- wait, I can just fast travel. Maybe it would have been better to just, uh... Is it courtyard or gate? Courtyard, because I need to go to Mace. It, it might have been better to just have my macro be only the X key and just really fast, instead of C and X at the same time. Because then I wouldn't, like, reinitiate conversations with people. Yeah, that's, that's the same. Here we go. Alright, so let's go down to begin with. And let's see what we can get from the robots. Ah, she doesn't even ask anymore. Carry on then. Oh, no, battery. So I, I can still just steal it. And then give him a second battery. Hello, person. Would you happen to know where a battery is? That's weird, because we, we don't even need it.
This is the only battery, but we already know that we have one. That's kind of weird that she doesn't say, we already found one, we don't need to take this one and kill all these robots. I'll just take it. I have no choice but to take this. Fuck. Uh, and then... Forest is new. Yeah, that's fine. Now we can just go up. Oh man, it's like... Stuttering a lot. I think that's just my OBS again. Oh, is it? Or is it because... Did I... Turn off? No, I have frame skip on. Do I want that off? I can't even remember. I'm not sure. Nope, that, that feels even worse. Oh my god, why is it... Why am I getting... Oh Jesus Christ, no, stop. Why am I suddenly having just weird issues? Hello, give me the thing. So yeah, I'm gonna have to redo all of this again. Hey! Take another battery! We found a battery! Oh, nice! I honestly... Hmm. What? Huh? Um... What? What the hell? He just takes two batteries? Why? This seems almost like an oversight. Like, sure you can... It's weird, because they had a specific line, like, Oh, good thing you thought to bring the battery from the Barons here. But then, why... Why have us take another battery and then still be able to give him... Give it to him? At least have it so that you take the battery and then give it to Cedric, and he's like, Well, you already brought a battery, I don't need that. You could even have a thing where you, like, give it back to the robots, and... I don't know. It's... it's weird. That actually doesn't make any sense, that they wouldn't program that in. I'm surprised by that. But yeah, I'll just quit here and we'll replay. Alright, so now we're here again. I guess I'll try just not even talking to Alula and Calamus. Just finding them on my own. And just see if there's any success with that. Yep. She still knows, even though... We don't actually know from Alula or Calamus where to find them, but I guess it makes sense. We need to find them somewhere. Alright, here we go again. So first off, let's just try... Going over here, talking to this guy. Do what you must. Here, have a battery. Nope. Take it. And then, plug it back in. Ah, That's too bad. Working rechargeable battery. Maximum power. Can't combine those. Can't combine those. Can't combine those. So it really doesn't matter. It's just a little... Oh yeah, different line there. We should... No, no, it's not a different line. She says that. Regardless, yeah. A little bit disappointing. It's like kind of a neat easter egg that you could do that and take it from the barons, but then it just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Even like just saying, oh, we don't need to take it because we already have one. It just, it would have been kind of a neat little thing. Oh well. Slightly disappointed, but now we know how that works, at least. All right, and now I guess I'll give the uh, old battery from the Barons. That one has probably less charge by this point, maybe. Nope, stop. 
Oh, I guess I should have... If you give the music box first and then the Baron's battery, then it just starts. Yeah. And then you wouldn't have a chance to give two batteries. But yeah, I don't know. Alright, so here I need to pay attention again, so I might skip a lot of this stuff, because... He's gonna talk. You may have already met her, actually. What does she look like? She's a fox. No, you don't remember talking to a fox at at one point, Nico. God damn it. I swear I did all this without ever seeing Rue and without seeing Calamus and Alula kick the rock away. This is that save. I'm using that save, so it I don't know. It really shouldn't work the way it does. I I'm pretty sure I used like a complete clean slate as well. Right? I didn't, like, keep my P settings file. Oh boy. I, I don't think I did, but now I'm getting unsure. Oh man. You met Rue? Ah, man. I almost feel like I have to try this again, because I'm not sure if I did it right. I would have to play the, the game another time, just to make sure I'm doing it on a completely fresh save, but I'm pretty sure I did! I'm pretty sure I did, god damn. Yeah, and there's not much else here, right? So leave second book glow room to get rid of Kalalula. That didn't matter. Mace before we know we need to get gears and batteries, that's nothing. Or gears, get the gears and battery without talking to Mace, that's nothing. Don't talk to Rue in normal game, just leave, then plain talk in Solstice. That turned out to not be anything, probably. And that's it for the Glen. Yep, as far as I can tell, that's it. So now, the rest I can just skip past. Oh man. Well, I think I might just leave the episode off there. And we'll see if maybe in the few days before I record again, I can actually replay the game one more time. Because replaying it doesn't take very long, honestly. Just because I'm very curious about that. I don't really see why there would, wouldn't be a change. Because I, I specifically haven't spoken to Rue. I'm pretty sure I even, like... If I did use my P-Settings file, which I honestly can't remember if I did or not now. If I did, I think I set time spoken to Rue and playthroughs to 0-0 zero, zero, and then first in the uh, playthrough type which should have the same effect. But, I don't know, maybe I should do it again, regardless. Oh boy! Yep, that was, uh, kind of a disappointing episode, I suppose. And there we go. All right. Yep, I'll I'll save this for now and we'll see what I do, I suppose, but there's only a couple things left to do in the city. At least we're finding out a couple things here and there still. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.